It was indeed uh, certain to receive the, the news of his passing. Uh, individuals in the SACP, such as myself, uh, have known him since his late teens when he joined the ranks of the Young Communist League, uh, that time hailing from uh, the Ekuroleni area, which in the SACP we call uh, Obapasha District. We saw him grow in the ranks of the Young Communist League and uh, also develop his skills as a communicator, practically in the Young Communist League, as well as academically uh, with a higher learning institution, the Swami University of Technology. When the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union recruited him to serve as its uh, media liaison officer, and later promoted him to serve as uh, the union spokesperson, uh, we were quite aware that uh, they have done extensive amount of uh, fact checks and verifications and they were satisfied with his capacity as a communicator. He indeed did not uh, disappoint the union. He served the workers diligently and he indeed uh, put uh, the interest of the workers before all else. Now I want to bring in Aubrey now uh, just to talk to us about uh, the CWU's reaction to the news of the sudden death of uh, Kaya Klaba. Yeah, firstly, we feel certain about the passing of Comrade Klaba, and uh, we actually express our heartfelt condolences to the family of Klaba and the Nehau and the entire labor movement. Uh, Comrade Klaba was uh, an activist through and through, as uh, Comrade Alex has just indicated that uh, he was um, an activist since his tender age at the YCL. He grown through the structures as well as the ranks, but most importantly, he never stopped to be an activist even when he was a school person. He continued to play the role in organizing the last experiences as cool communication workers union with him. Uh, was the last uh, industrial action we had at SAPC, where he will, from time to time, through the uh, instruction of his national leadership, he will release a, a statement in support of the struggle of those workers. But he was not only talking from the office, he was actively involved in the picketing line, but also arranging uh, workers from various uh, points of picketing across the the country. That is Kaba that we know from our side. And they passed on in this time where trade union movement needs young people such as him so that uh, we are able to be that voice that is resonate with young workers that are coming to the ranks. So we have lost a giant in that space. Now, uh, Aubrey, just uh, speaking about uh, how trade unions need young people, it, it is too soon to speak about it, but do you think that Nahau does have somebody as young and vibrant as Klaba was who can fill those uh, big steps that he's actually left vacant? Well, it's a painful reality to talk about it. However, Nehau is one of our biggest uh, Kwasatu affiliates that has a number of uh, capable young people. But also we know that uh, Comrade Klaba will not keep uh, information and knowledge and skills to himself. He always shared with the young people uh, that around him. So I'm sure that part of his knowledge and his skills uh, has been shared with some of uh, young workers there in the Nehau. But of course, it's something very difficult to comprehend that you can think about who should replace at this point in time. Now, Alex, you spoke about, uh, you know, um, Kaya's background, Kaya as an employee, Kaya as an advocate and an act activist, rather, for, for employees and for young people. Tell us then about Kaya as a friend or as a person, how you knew him personally and the impact your friendship had on you. When, when, when I first met Kaya, it was uh, in the late, in the early 2000s. He was a he was a youngster. He had just arrived in the province of Gauteng, and he found himself accommodation in Ekuruleni. He was quite young uh, and tiny. Uh, and, uh, many people didn't know him, <laughs> uh, and uh, those who didn't know him would see a different Kaya, uh, the one who passed away, than the one who was quite young and very active. He used taxis and trains, and uh, he walked long distances, uh, organizing the youth. He was uh, very energetic in the youth movement, and uh, I knew him myself as a, a member of the Provincial Committee of the Young Communist League of Gauteng province. 
Uh, that time I was responsible for political education and ideological training. I can tell you I'm now in my uh, mid 40s. Uh, think about how old was Kaya at that time. And of course he passed now still as a young person. So he was quite a, a high school graduate uh, when I met him. And uh, Aubrey, just uh, your final words regarding how you will remember the legacy that Kaya has left behind. Well, uh, first and foremost, a selfless cater, a person that also understood the protocol, he respected the leadership, and he was able to communicate decisions taken by the National Executive Committee of Nehau uh, in a manner that it will be understood by members of uh, Nehau, the members of COSATU, and the society in general. So we have lost a political communicator in this space, and uh, we want to once again, express our sincere condolences to the family. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon to pay respects there to the late Kaya Klaba.